Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a radical equation that goes on forever. So we have x times the square root of x times the square root of x times the square root of x, so on and so forth. And this whole thing is equal to 16, and we're going to be solving for x. I'll, I'll be presenting two methods. Uh, you've probably seen these kinds of questions before, but maybe in a different format. And that is going to become more clear when we use the second method. So let's start with the first method. Okay. My first method basically involves using some substitution. Obviously, substitution is a very powerful method. So we're going to use it. Uh, let's go ahead and take this radical piece here and let's call that something. I want to exclude the x because x doesn't really follow the pattern that we have here. So I want to call this radical part, I don't know, you can call it y, you can call it a, it doesn't really matter, let's call it a. Okay, so now we get uh, an equation from here, right? We get x a equals 16. It's kind of like the product of two numbers is equal to 16. Great, so I do need another equation so I can make it a system of two equations right then I can solve for each variable and where does that come from well it automatically gives us the assumption or the substitution gives us this equation that the radical thing the square root of x times the square root of x times the square root of x dot 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 uh, equals a so this is our system of equations and we're going to solve for x remember that all the time now how do I solve this system well um, I could probably replace for example here's one of the things you can do you, there's a couple of routes you can take for example you can isolate a from here and write it as 16 over x and you can just plug it in here and then proceed or uh, you can just go ahead and take a look at the second equation now notice that in the second equation we see something that repeats all the time so the square root of x times the square root of x does so since the that expression is equal to a this means that this part is also a so we get something like the square root of x a equals a but we know that x a is equal to 16 so i can just go ahead and replace x a with 16 the square root of 16 is just going to be 4 this gives us a equals 4 but we also know that their product is 16 therefore x equals 4 from here easy right okay great you could also use this method if you did then you would get something like x times the square root of x times blah 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 equals 16 over x and this would also be 16 over x, and then x would cancel out, square root of 16 is 4, so on and so forth, right? It uh, gives you the same thing, pretty much. Now, here's my second method. And my second method is slightly different because I'm using a different approach here, uh, slightly different. They're not entirely different, of course. We're kind of solving a problem that's kind of obvious, and probably most of you already knew the answer, like, hey, I could solve this problem in two seconds, right? Okay. That's not the goal. The goal is, I think, to learn something from here, something different, hopefully. Anyways, the second method involves square rooting both sides. And the reason for that, the motivation behind it is, I want to make this more, uh, like, more like a pattern. So if I take the square root of both sides, then I get something that I'm more familiar with, right? The square root of x times the square root of x times the square root of x, something that uh, repeats infinitely many times. And this is obviously equal to 4. Now, since this expression right here, the square root of x times the square root of x times the square root of x dot 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 is equal to 4, that implies that this part here is also 4, and that implies that the square root of 4x is equal to 4, and that means 4x is equal to 16 if you square both sides, and that means x equals 4. And again, x is what we're looking for, right? So the answer is 4 again. Of course, we were supposed to get the same answer, but that's the first method, and this is the second method. I'm pretty sure you'll find other methods as well. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.